the truth. That's the lie. It's the truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And the truth shall set you free. What is up, YouTube? Your boy is back. I know some of you are like, where has he been? What has he been doing? I've still been doing my thing. I've been buying shoes. I've been selling shoes. Been kind of chilling, but you know, a lot goes on in this world that has nothing to do with YouTube. And uh, let's be honest, these last few months in the sneaker world, there really hasn't been much going on. Not a lot of scams, no drama, nothing big to talk about. So I haven't felt the need to speak up about anything until recently. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say I respect 2Js, I respect Urban Necessities, I respect his hustle. I even made a video saying he was the greatest sneaker reseller of all time, and I still believe that. I respect him, I respect his store, I respect his grind. He built his company from nothing. He didn't have mommy and daddy's money. With that being said, I'm not hating on the dude, I'm just calling out some real facts. I think that he is doing something wrong with his business and I'm gonna let you guys know what he's doing. Before I get into that, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you who have hit that subscribe button. Your boy's little ass channel is approaching 2K subs and I know a lot of people might be like, oh, that's nothing, but I appreciate it. That's a lot for me. And even in these last few months when I have not uploaded any content, I still gained a couple subscribers here and there. So thank you. And without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So about a year ago, I made a video why I stopped consigning with Urban Necessities. And to break it down really quickly, they raised their percentage to 20%, which was not a big deal. I don't care about that at all. When you sell shoes with Urban Necessities, you're going to make $100, maybe $200 over market. So them charging a small percentage more than StockX or GOAT is no big deal. Do not care about that at all. The problem I had is he was only letting you mark your shoes up like 20 or 25% over market. So it really didn't make sense to consign there any longer with StockX charging level three and up sellers only like six percent it just made more sense to sell on there get your money right away when you can sign with un you gotta have your shoes sit you don't know when they're gonna sell it just it just didn't make sense anymore so about a year had passed and i checked in with urban necessities consignment and it looked like they had gotten rid of that and i was like cool i will consign with them again and then I found out that they had changed their consignment rules once again. So here we are, the entire reason why I'm making a video. I wanted to get the public's opinion. I wanted this information to get out there. So here we go. So Urban Necessities is now charging you $2 a month for storage. Every month your shoes don't sell. You get charged $2, which is not really a big deal, let's say, my shoes sit for five months and then they sell, that's only $10. But at the same time, no other consignment shops charge you a storage fee. It seems kind of petty of 2Js to add that storage fee. I know why he's doing it and he doesn't want shoes to sit at Urban Necessities forever, but if you're gonna charge us a storage fee, then at least help us sell our shoes quicker and I will come back to that as the whole reason why I'm making this video is he's making it harder for us to move our shoes. I mean, consignment has always been 15 to 20% of the sale. He has also changed that. Consignment has been the same since the dawn of time, since dinosaurs have roamed the earth. Consignment has always been no storage fee and the shop gets 15 to 20% of your sale. But after consigning with Urban Necessities this summer, I found out they had changed everything. And what's shady about it is they are very unclear in their terms. As you can see, this is off of their website. Terms of payment. You shall select the payout amount to be dispersed to you following the sale of the product. So this part is a little hard to explain, but what Urban Necessities is doing is they're coming up with a market price for your shoes. So let's say you have a pair of Bread 11s and all you want is 200 bucks for them. But Urban Necessities says 
the market price for them is $350. So if you want 200, what most places will do is they'll charge 20%. They're gonna list the shoes for $240. So instead of this classic way where Urban Necessities would only make $40, they're going to say the market's $350, so we're charging $350. But you, as the seller, have picked your payout at $200, and they're still going to charge $350. So now Urban Necessities is making $150 instead of $40. I know this might be a little hard to follow, and I'm trying to break it down as simply as I can, but basically... Urban Necessities is overcharging on purpose and making more money per pair. Now, going back to that storage fee, let's say I have a shoe that's been sitting for a couple months and I lower the price drastically so it can move, the price won't lower at Urban Necessities. So basically, this is how it looks on their consignment manager. The payout is how much you want to be paid for your shoes. The lowest listed payout means the lowest price in the store. So if someone consigns that same shoe and they list their payout for $228, when that shoe sells, they're going to get paid before you because they are the lowest payout. Now the problem with that is the price of the shoe stays the same. When I go on Urban Necessities website or into their store, this shoe that I want a payout for $229 is listed for $370. So issue number one I have with this is how am I supposed to move my shoes quickly if they're so overpriced and there's nothing I can do about it? Besides consigning, also if you're the buyer, you're charging the buyer way more money than they should be charged. If I'm consigning and I want $229, you're charging them $370. So the buyer and the consigner are both losing, but Urban Necessities is winning. I really hope I explained it so everyone can understand it. I know it's kind of hard to follow, but I really want to hear your thoughts. If you consign with Urban Necessities, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of all this. Even if you don't consign, uh, if you buy from Urban Necessities, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this. If I have misunderstood something or got something wrong, let me know. I'm a grown man. I can admit when I'm wrong. If you can convince me I'm wrong and this is the best thing for both the buyer and the seller, then I can make a video saying I was wrong. But with the information I have, I'm pretty sure this is what's going on. And I don't think it's fair for consigners or for their customers. Anyways, this has been your boy, The Truth, a.k.a. Paul Pierce, a.k.a. George Washington, because I cannot tell a lie, and I'm out.